beautiful 42-pound halibut caught recently out of Long Beach, California by Derek Castro from Anaheim Hills on Jim Limbacher's The Limbo Land on a three-way swivel fishing with a trap rig and a sardine. Great catch. Hopefully, there's more of those out there. Beautiful. Another nice flatty. Nice flat fish. Nice one. Nice one. Whoa. Beautiful, beautiful. I can't camp. Nice boy. Beautiful. Wow. It's nice one. Woo! Good job. Got it. Perfect. Thank you. Hey, good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California. It is so great, so nice to be back with you all again here on Tierra Firma. However, I must say I thoroughly enjoyed my five days on board the Independence. I'll get into that. We didn't catch much at all, but the people who came out for that trip, the crew, the boat itself, made it such a memorable time for me. It was so much fun, especially celebrating my son Philip's birthday on board. It all came together beautifully. I'll have more on that in a moment. We're also going to get you up to date, up to the minute information on our bluefin tuna bite in Southern California. What is going on? We've got news from the independents here this morning that I'll be breaking to you in just a little bit. And I'll talk about spotter plane information and a lot more. We've got three boats out scouring here this morning. Have they found anything? I'll have that in a second. Good rock fishing up and down the coast. Some awfully cold water here in April. But I'll tell you, that's not bad for our rock fishing. And it's pretty normal to be perfectly candid with you all. A giant halibut have you already seen. That was a remarkable catch and so much more. You know what time it is. It's time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. Oh, I really need this on what is like a summer-like day here. It's gorgeous in SoCal. Mm, so good. If you don't mind, hit that like button. We deeply appreciate it when you can do that. Share these videos with a friend. Of course, subscribe to the Freedman Adventures YouTube channel and tick that little bell. You'll be notified when the bluefin tuna are biting or the sea bass are coming on. We'll have it all for you and that bell when you tick it notifies you when there is new content. And of course you can catch us on Instagram, Facebook and TikTok for the time being on TikTok, Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Really great to be here with you all and I've got a lot to cover with you again. We had that great trip on board the Independence, and I know a lot of you are saying, great trip, man. You guys covered 600 miles on the boat, didn't catch one bluefin, didn't catch one yellowtail. How can that be a great trip? And I never, ever base my trips on catching fish because that's just part of the equation that you cannot control. And in fact, those are the trips where it is hardest on the crew. It really is difficult. And I was up in the wheelhouse enough hours with Brian Pfeiffer and the crew of the Independence, and man, they are racking their brains. They're working so hard. They're trying to find fish. We covered a lot of ground, came up empty on that, had some nice halibut and some rockfish, but in terms of our bluefin and yellow tail, we came up empty, but we all had a great time. And you know, not one person on that trip, and I've got to say thank you to each and every one of you who came out. It was such a pleasure to spend time with you. So nice to get to know you better. Nobody complained. Everybody understood what was going on. And my hat's off to you for being such great anglers and people and now friends. So thanks for being there. All right, I'm going to go back to that in a minute. Let's go south of the border, talk Ensenada, because Ensenada has had some really good yellowtail action for the pongeros down there. The guys that are fishing the smaller boats, which we call pongas, out of Ensenada have been catching yellowtail, big bonita. There's been some sand bass. There's been some calico bass, a couple of barracuda flurries. It has been really good. And the grade of yellowtail really has been awesome, like 15 to 20, 25 pounds. Really a beautiful grade. Some 10 to 12 pound stuff also mixed in there. They're catching them on the fiato, man, on the iron. They have 
been doing really well on both surface iron and yo-yo iron. Now, San Diego sport boats cannot fish inside Ensenada Bay. So this is a ponga thing for the Ensenada guys. You're going to have to get in your car and go 70 miles south of the border and jump on with our friend Foca there at Botes Juanitos. Foca is a great captain. Or with black fin sport fishing or any number of other great operators down there. Arnie, man, is another great guy who's been fishing these yellows. Now, it's not very difficult to see why all that fish is in Ensenada Bay or has been here recently. And as you look around on the outside, Punta Banda down the Baja coast, north of there, it's all cold water. But inside the bay, it's been like 62 degree water as opposed to 58 outside. And those fish are like, man, I want to go to the tropics and get in there in that warm water. And that's why they have been there. Campo Siete is an area, a rocky part of the Punta Banda area where Mexican anglers literally scale down the cliffs to have an opportunity to catch fish. And they've been catching some yellows there off the rocks in Big Bonita. Remarkable fishing going on. And hopefully our dear brothers and sisters down there in Baja, California, Mexico, continue to catch fish. I'll be watching them very, very closely. In fact, I'm going to head on down to Mexico here very, very shortly. Paulina, you know Paulina, she's done some shows with me. We are going to chat later today about a surf fishing video. Pauline is just starting to get into that, and I love surf fishing, so it'll be great to take her along with us, and we will take you along on that very special ride. So, Ensenada, some good yellow action and a mix of other fish that we hope will invade us up here in SoCal. We've got very cool water here right now. Once it warms up, I think what we're seeing there in Ensenada Bay will manifest itself here and hopefully it won't be all that much longer as we continue to watch it for you very closely. Tonight, 6 p.m., Hoff Hut's Restaurant in Torrance, California. I will be there. I can't wait to say hello to you and I'll be giving a seminar at 7 o'clock. But come have dinner. They have great raffles. It's the South Bay Anglers Club. They have some great fishing trips in the very near future that you can join them on if you become a member. You don't have to be a member to attend tonight. Come on out and uh, we'll have dinner. I'll put on a little seminar and we can chat afterwards if you'd like to do that. That is Hoff's Hut this evening, of course, at 6 p.m. And the seminar starts at 7. I will see you there. All right, back to our independence trip and the bluefin tin information that I have for you. The independence trip, we went about 260, 70 miles down the Baja coast, and man, we got our teeth kicked in. It was very rough and windy seas for just about the entire trip. I think we had a morning of good weather, and then it got all windy and screwed up in the afternoon, but the anglers hung in there and really did a fantastic job. Everybody on board had a positive attitude, and I can't thank you enough for that. But back to the fishing, we scoured, we ended up on the beach fishing halibut, had a pretty good bite on the flatties, uh, I think like nine fish. You saw that on the lead in, all the fish that we caught. That was a lot of fun and gave us a little break from the weather, but overall it was tough. And then we got back at it again, starting to look for a blue finch and working hard. Brian Pfeiffer, the captain of the Independent, scouring everywhere until we ended up on our final day's fishing just below Ensenada. Baja, California, which we talked about a moment ago, and we had really excellent rock fishing, some big lings, great big ling there for a fine angler on board the Independence. We also had some nice sheephead and other species, so it was a lot of fun in terms of that. And then uh, we went in on the beach and tried to look for some yellowtail and some calico bass, but the water temp was 54 degrees. I mean, it was chilly cold and it's really difficult to get any kind of a surface bite in that cold water. That's why, again, all that fish is sucked into the bay where there is warm water and outside it is cooler water and uh, those fish just were not liking that at all. We went back out to the rockfish grounds and we were met with some wind now and a big swell and it made it very difficult. So back into the beach we went. My son Philip for his birthday he was looking at me saying, God, I would just like to catch a calico bass. One calico bass on my birthday, that would make this complete. You know, I mean, that's the positivity my son has also, just one calico. 
His trip was already made. Previous to that, at dinner the night before, he said, I think this is the best birthday I've ever had. And, and I really admire my son for that, the positivity and the great time we had and the crew on board the Independence all great. Well, anyway, he managed to get that calico bass, the last fish we caught on board the Independence, and that was a very special moment. Our friend Jeff shot video of it, and it was really spectacular. So great stuff there on the Independence. Sean Hardigan is now working on the Independence. My dear friend who was running the Mission Bell is now on there, and he fit right in with a really great crew. So once again, great thanks. And then we took our catch over to Sportsman Seafood, and they took care of the processing for us. So we're going to have some really good fish tacos here very, very soon. I can't wait to do that with Philip and maybe some of the guys who are on board that great independent strip. All right, let's bring it into today and find out what we know about the Blue Fish Dinner because we do have three boats out there right now. One is the independent. I just talked to them moments ago. They have been looking since last night. They are fishing out to the west, not going down to the Baja Coast. We covered that. They are out to the west trying to relocate that blue fin tuna and have not stopped the boat one time so far up until morning hours here today. So we are watching it very, very closely and hopefully something good is going to happen. I don't believe the other boats have done anything at all so far. So we are in search of. And of course, you get spotter plane information. The plane went up and took a look around and they saw for the second time in a row, no fish at all. No bluefin tuna, no sign of them. They have vanished for the time being. Is it time to push the panic button? No. I mean, we still don't have all that much coverage. It's a little bit problematic that the spotter plane isn't even seeing them right now, but we'll keep our fingers crossed and hopefully somebody's going to run across them. They are out, the Independence that is, is on a five-day trip with Young's Fishing Tackle. I got to see Kevin there at the docks. Great guy, JC, and several other great anglers are on that trip. And of course, we are wishing them all the very, very best. And I'm in constant communication. That's why I want to tick the bell. You'll be notified if anything happens here today. I will be letting you know. I'll guarantee you that. So no bluefin tuna right now out of San Diego as we continue to watch it. And I should toast Lupe, shouldn't I? She's going by right now. Good morning, Lupe. I told you, she's always out there enjoying this gorgeous, beautiful Eastern Pacific that we are so blessed with. So tough sledding right now. It's early. It's only April. Hopefully, we'll get back on them. What makes this a bit perplexing is that several weeks ago, we had phenomenal fishing going on. You remember, you know, the Polaris Supreme, I think, had 43 fish on one trip and 35 of those fish. We're over 100 pounds. The Pacific Dawn, 16 guys, 18 bluefin all over 100 pounds. We had a spectacular start to the season, and now this big letdown, and we'll just have to wait and see where it all goes. So we are watching it closely. We'll keep our eyes on it. Uh, last March, a year ago March, water temperatures were trending upward, getting warmer. This March, water temperatures are trending downward. We are going from an El Nino, warmer water, to a La Nina, cooler water. I know, Albacore, they like cool water. I don't know. This could be the air of an Albacore forecast a little bit later as we watch it all for you. So we've got our eyes on it. We will continue to do that. Don't forget, it's tax season. And Tim Marquez, who was on that five-day trip with that positive attitude, is at your service. Give Tim a call today. He will help unravel your tax problems or just get you all up to date. And if you need any help with heating or air conditioning, there is nobody better on the face of this earth than John Lopez at Efficient Heating and Air Conditioning. John will take great care of you. Give him a call. Last night, Tackle Shop Confessions, another great show with Sam De La Torre. It's a show you're definitely going to want to uh, take a look at. Again, that show, Tackle Shop Confessions, we give you current fishing information, and most importantly, we answer all your tackle type of questions. You have a reel that you're interested in. You want to pair a rod with a particular reel that you just bought. Sam will run around the store and grab the reel and the rod and show you exactly what it is we are talking about. It is archived for you now. You can go back and watch Tackle Shop Confessions. All right, my friends, let's talk a little bit about what's going on locally here. We did get a little flash over the weekend 
out there at San Clemente Island. The Fury had some yellowtail. The Migo had six yellowtail. So there is a signal and a sign of some forky running around here. Forky yellowtail in Southern California, but no big signs. And of course, we've been dealing with weather. It's just been so windy and it's really been miserable. Not today, however. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. And it looks to me like we are going to be able to get some things accomplished here today. Now, as we look on our local situation, and I'm talking up and down the coast, all the way up to Ventura, it has been rock fishing, white fishing, lingcut, and really some great fishing going on on the bottom grabbers. Those fish make the best fish tacos you'll ever eat in your life, especially if you eat them when they are fresh. So we see it out of San Diego, some good fishing, Dana Wharf, sport fishing, Long Beach, San Pedro. All these guys have been getting in out of the Monte Carlo. They've been getting in Marina del Rey, Redondo, and up there in Ventura and the Channel Islands, really great rock fishing up to Santa Barbara. So all you really need is some good weather. And most of the time, if you get that good weather, you are in the ballpark for some really great fishing. I would say if I was going to go on a local trip, I would bring six ounce to 16 ounce torpedo sinkers right now. That is really a great idea. We love trocar hooks. You bring those trocar hooks along with you and you will be in the driver's seat. They will set the hook there. So sharp and so durable. Man, I'll tell you, that is exactly what you want to be using. So some really good rock fishing up and down the coast right now. Hopefully that is going to continue up there in Ventura Sport Fishing. Our friends on the Island Spirit, they are going half day tomorrow, and you are going to want to get on it. And also the California, Ralph Burt, the galley cook has been sending us all kinds of photos and great video of the great fishing they're having on the California. The old Matt Walsh out of Ventura Sport Fishing, they're both going tomorrow you ought to jump on board. You've got the half day run on the Island Spirit, eight to four, and then you've got an extended three quarter day run on board the old Matt Walsh, now the Californian Ventura Sport Fishing, 805-676-3474. And you can get in on that. Our friend Kevin Brannon fishing up there yesterday, had some great fishing. He was fishing with the Promar Ahi Diamond Assault Jig and just putting the hurt on the shallow water rockfish. And fishing a jig like that diamond jig by Promar is so much fun. It is an absolute ball. And Kevin, way to go, my friend. It's always good to see you. Not only catching fish, but doing all the great work you do in our communities. That makes a huge difference to us all. In the surf, Big Fish Bait and Tackle has their new derby going on here this month. Every single month, they're giving away a free custom rod at Big Fish Bait and Tackle in the beautiful city of Seal Beach, California. Last month, it was a barred perch contest where you had to catch the biggest barred perch. This month, it's going to be a Corbina. The largest Corbina takes a new custom rod at Big Fish Bait and Tackle. You stop in there, you get your ruler, and when you catch your big Corbina, you lay the ruler that you buy at Big Fish in the sand, you inscribe the date, you take a photo, you upload it to the Big Fish Bait and Tackle Instagram page, and that's all you got to do. And you're in, and you can win. Glenn Salve Devar with a great big bar perch last month. I think it was 15.5 inches. Way to go, Glenn. Constantly hitting the surf and doing such great stuff. And man, speaking of that, Donald Morris with a beautiful 40 inch halibut. Donald, way to go. That is an awesome catch, man. It makes me want to get out here and start throwing a little chrome crocodile or a little cast master or lucky craft. There's a number of ways, drop shotting to catch halibuts in the Southern California surf. But also I got to take my hat off to Donald for not only catching that fish, but by noticing a couple kids going by who wanted to maybe experience catching a fish and Donald made it happen. Handed him a rod with a short halibut on it. Kids were ecstatic. Who knows what fire you lit in those two young men, way to go. Donald, that's what it's all about here in sport fishing, sharing it with the young kids and making them, or at least exposing them to this great sport so they can get outdoors and get some vitamin D, and get some exercise, catch some fish and have some fun. Donald, thanks for making that happen. And on the lead in, of course, we showed you that big halibut. Even though I don't think that was the exact moment that fish came on board, 
it was still pretty exciting. Matt Meyer actually was the one who shared that with me. That was Derek Castro with an incredible catch. Derek is from Anaheim Hills. He was on Jim Limbacher's uh, boat, the Limbo Land. He had a three-way swivel, a trap rig, and a sardine, and that fish was weighed in at the Los Alamitos Fuel Dock 42. 0.2 pound flatfish. That is an extraordinary catch. We are seeing some halibut. They had some on the gray light up there out of the Channel Islands. And the native sun's been picking off a fish. My friend here recently uh, had a nice fish out of there. So Jolene Thompson. So we have been seeing some pretty nice flatties indeed. And uh, hopefully that is going to continue. All right, my friends, it is always great to spend time with you back from the Independence Five Day. Those guys are out there racking their brains trying to find the bluefin tuna. And, of course, we'll let you know if anything happens here today at all. Tick the bell. You'll be notified when there's new content. Subscribe to Friedman Adventures. That means the world to us. Don't forget the El Patron. Long Beach Sport Fishing has several great trips, including a special Santa Barbara Island trip. Those have been phenomenal on board the El Patron out of beautiful Long Beach Sport Fishing. They'll be at it again this weekend. Fishing Catalina Island, I believe. Give Long Beach Sport Fishing a call and get on the El Patron. I know you're going to enjoy it. All right, my friends, always great to spend time with you. I'll see you tonight at Hoff's Hut in Torrance, California. That's going to be a pleasure. My thanks again to everybody out there who was on the Independence. And that flyby by the F-18s. We were standing in the stern of the Independence after about day three of trolling when an F-18 buzzed us about a hundred feet over our head. And everybody were on their feet cheering. And just about the time when we quit cheering, another F-18 came in there and buzzed us. That was an absolute thrill. Something that everybody on board will never, ever forget. Just another memory in sport fishing. All right, have a great day. As always, it's my pleasure to spend time with you. And of course, we're gonna keep the content coming. We're gonna have some great surf fishing for you here shortly. We're gonna be visiting some more tackle stores. We're gonna give you some more boat tours and we're gonna keep you in touch with all the very latest. Have a great day. And I hope to see you tonight at Hobbs Hut. If not, I hope to see you really, really soon. <laughs>